Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here, coming to you from my garage. I picked up a JFJ Easy Pro disc resurfacer machine. That's right, finally got one of these babies. I've got tons of discs in my collection that could use a buff, and I'm always picking up lots that have extremely scratched discs. So I thought this was a, this was a good investment that I needed for the collection and for my lots that I pick up. Now, what did this thing come with? Well, obviously it comes with the machine. It comes with a couple of pads here that have these little sanding discs that stick to them. It came with a couple different sanding discs. We got soft and coarse. So basically you'd sand down the disc first and then it came with some polishing pads. Two different ones here for both steps. Now, I did fire this up and test it a couple times before making this video just to make sure it worked. But we're actually going to walk through the entire process and resurface the disc. It also came with this, uh, this terry clock as well. It comes packed in with two different types of polishing compound as well. The blue and the white. I tried this stuff. Honestly, from the research I've done, this isn't the best polish. So what I'm going to actually use is I have some of my 3M automotive rubbing compound and some swirl mark remover. I've had this stuff for a few years. I use it on my cars. I'm a big car enthusiast. So I had that ready on hand. Also came with this little spray here. It's basically it's water. But we're going to use water instead. All right. So what we're going to do is, I got this copy here of Wii Sports Resort. It's been sitting on for a while. It's extremely damaged. If you can see here, it is just beat. It doesn't even work. But yeah, it, it's horrible. If you can see that with the light there, it's destroyed. So what you do is you open it up. If you open the side here, this is where your pad goes. But this one actually, I think, is going to need a sand. So we're going to take the soft sanding disc, put it in there, like so. Then this unscrews, and you put the disc up here. Something I want to add, if you have one of the machines and you're having a problem, the first few that I tested, it would, it would sand and leave unpolished marks right around here. And that didn't work for me. I did not like that. So I figured out... If I take this little rubber O-ring, put that there, then put the disc on, then screw that on, it actually brings the disc down further and it'll polish evenly. I don't know if my machine's defective or not, but I found that actually worked really well. So basically the way it works is this goes down and it's spring-loaded and it'll go into that pad. Let's close it up, plug it in. Now you can flip it on here and you have different settings. You have 10 seconds, 20 seconds, one minute, and two minute. For sanding, I do no more than 10 seconds. For this one, it's really bad, so I'm gonna let it run the whole 10 seconds. But from what I've seen and other people doing is they only let it run for five if it's not too bad. So anyway, let's just get that sanding process done here. That's it. Let's turn it off. Let's open it up. Let's pull this out and take a look at it. Now it's fully sanded. So it's like got a matte finish to it. This is really just like wet sanding and polishing a car. So take the sanding pad off. We're going to get one of the buffing pads here. Pretty much brand new you can see i've only used a little bit so we're going to put it on there we're going to put the disc back on now screw this on actually before i put that in what they say to do is when you have a new pad you should basically put polish all over the pad and after you're done you just put a little a little bit like this here 
So if this pad was already soaked in polish, that's all she would use. But I actually have to get this pad broken in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a full line, like so, on both sides. I'm actually just going to take my finger and rub it in a bit. Just want to get that pad nice and wet here. Again, this is only apparently necessary when you have a brand new pad. After a few uses, you just got to put a little drop there. So let's put that in and try it out. Now something I've learned polishing cars for many years in my industry is water is your best friend so it doesn't burn or warp. So for this one here, we're just going to run one minute and let it buff. So let's start to one minute, I'll speed it up and we'll check it out. All right, let's take it out, see how it looks. So this is stage one. So, if you look in here, most of the scratches are gone. It's definitely hard to get on camera, but it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. So after your stage one, what I like to do is obviously I'll put this back on here. Take the pad off. Because you need different pads for different stages. This is pad number two. Same thing here now with the rubbing, sorry not the rubbing compound, the swirl mark remover. Stage two polish. I'm just going to put a couple of uh, thick beads here and work it in. We'll do it on this side too. should probably have gloves on, but this is probably the least toxic thing I deal with. My job. All right. So when we do number two on a car, we normally put a little bit of water because heating up polish or panels can destroy your paint as well as it can pull. Sorry, destroy your your disc here. So disc is back on. I'm going to give it a couple sprays here. We're going to run this for one minute. All right, stage two is done. Let's take a look. Actually, what I should do is probably point this up a little bit so you guys can actually see me unscrewing it now. There it is. Just have this little car over here. It's good to uh, make sure that O-ring stays on there if you choose to use it, but I highly recommend using it. So now, let's take a look. It is looking fantastic, and it's still Wii Sports Resort. So what I'm going to do here quick is I'm going to mist this with a bit of water. I have two rags here. One, just to get the excess polish and stuff off. And I've always been told, and I've always done, is to wipe outward from the center of the disc. Never go in a circular motion. It's not good for the disc. So, there's that. Then, I take my dry terry cloth here, in the back. And we're going to, same thing, outward wiping motion. Like so. And we're going to take a look at the disc. Alright. There it is. Nice and clean. I'm super impressed with how this JFJ works. It's uh, actually not that expensive, which is cool. So if you're in the market for one, I definitely recommend this one. I'm obviously going to give it some more use. But from what I've seen from other people, they have no major complaints about it, and it has excellent results. Again, the only thing that I had an issue with was it was leaving unpolished and sand marks around the inside ring. But putting this little O-ring here as a backing definitely fixed that issue. So if you're having that problem, be sure to put that O-ring on there. So, 
All right, so that's a Wii Sports Resort fixed. I don't have a Wii out here with me to test it, but I'm confident it's gonna work now. So I'm gonna definitely go in and give it a try. All right, we're back in the game room. Here's the Wii Sports Resort that we ran through the buffer. Let's see if it works. Come on. Oh, that's a good sign, good sign. I was able to get to this point before. Now let's see if we can actually get it into the game. Oh, wow. Well, we got further. What if I don't want to do this? <sighs> well, I'm going to say this is a win because I never got to the screen before. So, yep, we'll just uh, say it works because I don't want to film this. Plus, I already have Wii Motion Plus. Why is it showing me this? All right, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna say it works thanks to the JFJ Easy Pro. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on social media. The information is in the description. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the console collector. And until the next video, happy gaming.